What's up folks, it's your boy Coach Ty back at you with another one. Today we've got our pull workout in our push pull legs series. I got my boy Stefan here to help me out with this one. So he's gonna take us through the uh, pull workout. We got a dumbbell roll, uh, dumbbell curl, rear delt fly, and a paloff press for the obliques. You ready, man? Oh yeah, I'm yeah? ready to go. Here we go. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, as always, we're gonna use the actual exercise that we're performing as our warm-up. Now again, on a warm-up, you're always looking to start breaking a little bit of a light sweat, but for the sake of keeping this video relatively short, we're just gonna go through one warm-up set of our first exercise, our dumbbell row. Are you right or left-handed? Uh, right-handed. Right-handed. Yeah. So if you're right-handed and you're doing a single arm exercise, I always recommend you start with the left side and whatever you can do with your left side, match on the right. Obviously, you're gonna be stronger with your dominant hand, so to keep everything even, start with the left. Same thing applies to legs, but the opposite way. If you're right-handed, start with your right leg. That right leg is gonna be weaker than your left leg because of, well, we won't get into that, but. All right, so we'll start with the left arm, and we're gonna use this uh, box to brace here. Stagger stance, bring that opposite leg back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Let that arm hang, and then you're gonna pull the elbow straight back toward the ceiling. Yep, and then fully extend the arm. Yes, pull. We're gonna go to 10. Let's take our time on this. We're just looking to groove this pattern. My standard cue on rows still applies. Imagine you've got a tennis ball in your armpit and try to squeeze that tennis ball on each rep. Yep. Seven by my count, eight, nine, last one, 10, perfect. All right, we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna hit 10 on this other side. Now always with a row, make sure you keep that back flat. Yeah, perfect, very nice. All right, and pull, yep, going back to 10. Two, three, Five. Squeeze that tennis ball. Six. Eight. Two more. Good stuff. Nine and ten. Resting. Okay. So again, we'll treat that as our little mini warm up. But again, uh, for you at home, look to start breaking a sweat before you get into it. That's what's most highly associated with injury prevention as well as performance. So get your body temperature up, start breaking a sweat. What I like to do, just hop on the treadmill and do a walk for five to 10 minutes until I start getting a little sweaty and then go straight into your sets. Especially for this, you're just doing pulling. So it's gonna be hard for you to break a sweat just from performing some warm up sets of a dumbbell row. So maybe a little bit of cardio, quote unquote, before you start, warm up set, working set. Set number one, here we go. And we're aiming for 12. Yep, make sure you keep that back flat. Very nice, and squeeze that tennis ball. Three, four, and again, we'll go as high as 12. Now the dumbbell row is one of the easiest exercises to cheat on. It's very easy to start jerking and bouncing, using momentum to get the weight from point A to point B. Again, we don't wanna let momentum do the work, we wanna make the muscles do the work. 12. Resting, okay, good. And then we'll match it here on the other side. Now you can use a bunch of different things to brace up against, you're good to go. Uh, you can use a box, you can use a bench, uh, you can use one of those uh, plyo boxes as well. Whatever you've got available. Some people use the dumbbell rack, I would not advise that because you're gonna be in everybody's way. That's not uh, polite. Seven. Nine. Ten. We got two more. Eleven and twelve. Okay. That look good. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, with seven being you could have done three more reps, eight you could have done two more reps, nine you could have done one more rep. What would you rate that? Like probably seven. Like seven? Seven? Okay. 
All right, so we will go up. Let's try maybe a 50. That's cool. Next, okay. We'll do a 50, and again, uh, for you guys at home, if you're training just one muscle at a time, the recommended amount of rest for muscle growth is two minutes. So this is why I like doing full body training because I can train a different muscle while the original muscle is resting. But again, if you're just training one muscle at a time, take at least two minutes in between your sets. You can also factor in if you're doing a single sided exercise while the left side is resting, you're training the right side. So factor that in. If you wanna time your rest period, start it when you finish with the left side. And then once you hit two minutes, time to go again. All right, here we go, folks. Set number two, back flat. Yeah, very nice, good correction. One, two. Good control, squeeze that tennis ball. Another form thing to watch out for, and Stefan's not doing this, but again, the thing for you to know at home, avoid the urge to twist as you're pulling. That's gonna shorten the range of motion at the shoulder joint and ultimately turn this into an oblique exercise. And we're not trying to hit the obliques right now, we're trying to hit the lats, the lat acts on the shoulder. So we want this to be all shoulder movement. And that's 12, yeah? Yeah. All right, other side. Looking good, good control, six. Also, this makes me think, I always, I've had this debate with people several times about using straps. And some people, they're uh, good correction on the back. 10, two more. Some people have too much, I guess, pride to use straps. 12. I, my general feelings on that is, you know, leave your pride at the door. If your forearms start to give out on you while you're trying to train your lats or train your deadlift or whatever it might be, don't, don't let the forearms be the limiting factor there. Use straps if you cannot hold on to the weight and maybe train your grip separately if that's something that's really important to you. Of course, if you're training for a powerlifting competition, you're not gonna be able to use the straps in the competition, but most people, we're just trying to get our lats to grow here. So don't be ashamed to use straps. That'll let you go heavier and load the lat more so. Use straps. Last one, set number three. Again, the lats are mixed fiber typing. And so you wanna keep your rep range between six and 12 for your lats and three or four sets. If you're a beginner lifter, no more than three. If you're a little more advanced, been doing this for a while, you can go four, maybe even as high as five. Looking good, 10, 11, last rip, a 12, resting. All right, good stuff. Done with the left side. This one here, flatten out, yep. And again, at home, focus on that elbow, pull that elbow straight back. Good so far. That's seven by my count, yep. Yeah. Eight, four to go. 10, one more, 12, and we're resting. All right, done with the dumbbell row, single arm, and we're moving on. Next, we've got the bicep curl. Now, we're only gonna do two sets of the bicep curl for a couple of reasons. One, bicep is fast switch dominant, so it doesn't need very much work, but also, we just train the biceps to not a massive degree. The, the row doesn't do a good job per se of training the biceps, but the biceps are definitely involved. So they've already got some volume that they've done already. So we need to not do too much for the biceps so they can adequately recover. So just two sets, and then we move on to our final superset after that. All right guys, here we go, bicep curl. Now you want palms facing forward, right? And then we're gonna fully flex the elbow and we wanna fully extend, yep. And we're just gonna go four to eight reps on this. So relatively heavy, three. 
The bicep curl is another one of those exercises. It's very easy to start cheating, but again, don't allow yourself to cheat. Make the biceps do all the work and not momentum. Good so far. That's seven, yeah. Last one, eight. And resting, good, got it. Yeah, it's real easy to start. This is one of the most common things you'll see in gyms is people swinging the weight up into position. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger used to uh, recommend the cheat curl, they would call it, where he'd swing the weight, hyperextend his spine horribly to get the weight up. Arnold Schwarzenegger was one in uh, eight billion kind of person. So not all of his rules will apply very well to everybody else. So I don't suggest you hyperextend your spine on a bicep curl. If you can't get the weight up, you can't get the weight up. Second set, final one. Again, biceps don't need a whole lot, especially if they've already been trained with another pull exercise. Five. Full extension. Good. Six. Seven. Last one. Uh, eight. Resting. All right, good stuff. And that's it. Short and sweet, that's all the biceps need. Two sets, we're done with that. And then last, we've got a uh, superset in the cable crossover. So we're gonna go rear delt fly to hit the upper back, the um, posterior deltoid and the mid and lower traps. And then to get a little extra core work in there, we're gonna do a pal off press for your obliques. So the rear delt fly, I like to do a particular way with internally rotated shoulders. So you'll grab here, thumbless grip. Reach over, grab on the other side. Oh wait. And a couple steps back and then here. Elbows stay mostly extended and make sure you bring your uh, shoulder blades together on each rep. That's move number one. And then move number two. You wanna bring this to about nipple level. Take a step away, you're gonna hold, uh, interlock your fingers, hold the attachment in close to your chest, and then press away from the body, and then back in. This is an odd movement, but when you get out to here, you've got a long lever from your center of gravity, or your spine, which is what we're training here, to the resistance. So when you get out here, you should feel your obliques flexing hard to keep you straight. The cable's gonna be pulling you this way. It's an anti-rotation move, and the obliques are an anti-rotation muscle. Not just the rotation muscle, but they also are anti-rotation to keep you from twisting too far in any direction to where you injure your spine. So again, start here, press out, hold for a one count out here, and then back in. If you start noticing yourself drifting to one direction, the muscle is fatiguing, that's where you should cut off your set. All right, folks, here we go, rear delt fly. Good. Make sure you're bringing those shoulder blades together. Yeah, perfect. Six. Those are getting tough. Seven. Oh man. The rear delt flies, y'all, every time. Oh, we didn't fail you. Can you give me one more? Yeah, that's it. Go ahead and cut it there. Yeah. So if you get to a point where you're unable to get those arms all the way back, that's it. The muscle's fatigued, you've done what you needed to do. Again, if you don't quite get into the rep range that you're looking for, which in this case is 12 to 15, just go lighter on the following set. That's it, it's not the biggest deal. In fact, it's a good thing that you hit fatigue, that's okay. All right, and then uh, we'll move to the pal off. I don't know that, not there, yeah. Uh, just just uh, this side. We can do just this side. Yeah, all good. All good. Let me try. Let's see. Uh, take one step away. That way? Yeah. And then rotate it into position. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, try that, yeah. So rotate into position. Yeah, start there. Yep, in, and press out. Yeah, in, and out. Yep. 
three. Looking good, I'm trying to get to eight. Four. Five, yeah, resist, resist letting yourself drift towards the cable stack. Six, good. Seven, one more. Eight, good, perfect, got it, okay? And then we'll just switch sides and we'll hit the other side. If you need to take a break in between, that's okay. This is a deceptively difficult exercise. All right, is that same uh, level? Five? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, ready? Here we go. So in round one. And hold, yeah. Try your best to stay square. Yeah, looking good. Four. Six. Seven, one more. Eight. Resting, got it. All right, good stuff. It's round one done. We're gonna hit uh, two more of these and then that's it for our pull beginner workout. Set number two, one. So far, seven. Ten. Twelve. Squeezing those shoulder blades. Oh, we're fatiguing. Thirteen. Fourteen. One more. Last one. We got there. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, one down, right there. There, yeah. All right. And again, if you need to take some time in between these sets, that's okay. In fact, I'd even recommend it. Taking a little bit of time will let you do more reps. The more reps you can do, the more volume, the more volume, the more muscle growth. All right, here we go, we're aiming for eight. And extend, hold, in. Extend, hold, in, perfect. Three, four, halfway there. Six, seven, one more, eight. Good, very nice. All right, done on that side. Whoop, didn't change the weight. <laughs> there we go. All right, for real this time. For real this time. Out, hold, in, good. Two. Four, halfway there. Six. One more. And resting, okay? And we're gonna do uh, one more set of the rear delt fly. We're done with the paddle off press. No need to do a whole lot of volume, especially if you've done a single-sided exercise already. The obliques have to work very hard on single-sided exercises to keep you square and upright. So if you're doing a single arm dumbbell row, even if you're braced up against something, your, your obliques have to work to keep you from twisting one direction or the other. So they've gotten a good amount of work already. So all we need is that extra two sets on top. We're good there. And we're gonna do one more set on the rear delt fly. The last one. See if we can make it back to 15. Three, good range of motion. Four 
one looks good so far. Eight. Ten. Oh, we're fatiguing. Eleven. Twelve. Do we got three more? Fourteen. Last one. Oh, 15, resting. Those got tough at the end. All right, folks, and that's it for our pool beginner workout. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Appreciate you, Stefan. Thank pleasure. you, brother. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, go follow Stefan on Instagram. His uh, handle uh, will be in the description below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can find this workout and dozens more over on musclewiki.com slash workouts. Please go check us out there, and I will see you with the next one. Deuces.